also have some very successful long snappers during their days, and Matt Overton is certainly one of them. A part of the team's fourth down army and during the offseason can actually be found doing ride alongs with area police. He's a young man, indeed, dedicated to service. Can I ask you first, where has the time gone? This is five years now into this thing? Yeah, it's, it's gone by in the blink of an eye, man. It really has. You've come a long way since the Omaha Nighthawks, uh, the uh, Florida uh, Tusker, United man. Florida yeah. League. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Has the path helped you in some way uh, appreciate what's going on? Oh, there's no, no, no question. Um, yeah. I mean, I literally rode on yellow school buses to practice when I played in those minor leagues, man. So I <laughs> lived in hotels and motels and, and Man, I mean, living on like food stamp things that they would send us to go eat and stuff, you know. So I definitely appreciate, you know, where I'm at now. You flash forward, you look around, you've got Adam and Terry, you've yeah. got Pat. Yeah. You're living right right now, aren't you? <laughs> um, I'm, I get, I'm very fortunate and lucky to work with two of the best and obviously the goat and Vinatieri. And it's, it's crazy, man. It really is. You've always been a guy that's appreciated law enforcement. Yeah. Where does that come from? Uh, it comes from my dad, my family, law enforcement family. Uh, dad is a retired 31-year uh, police officer, retired as a captain. Um, my stepmother is uh, also, she was a dispatcher for a long time. My, my uncles, my best friends are all in law enforcement. And there was a time in my football career that, you know, it really wasn't working out. And I had that sit-down conversation with my dad saying, you know, what, what is it going to take for me to, to be a cop? And, you know, if I wasn't playing football, you know, I'd probably be a cop. No better example of your interest in that than when you honored a sheriff deputy in California, the Stanislaus Sheriff Deputy Dennis Wallace, who was shot to death while investigating a suspicious car. And you wrote a message on the shoes that you wore Thanksgiving night. How did that touch you? Well, you know, he's, he's uh, not far from my hometown in Tracy, California. Um, Stanislaus County is the next county over, and so uh, I, I received a lot of um, just posts on Facebook. A lot of people that I knew back home either worked with him or knew of him. He was actually a, a longtime high school football referee, most likely refed one of one several of my games in high school growing up. And um, I, you know, I said, you know, this is probably the right time for me to kind of pay my respects and sent those cleats off to the family this week and to the sheriff's department and, and uh, you know hopefully they just you know brightens their spirits a little bit. The NFL provides one stage in many ways uh, for you to take it to another level. Uh, I mean that speaks to who you are and what you want to do with it. Yeah I just felt like it was the right thing to do man especially during the holiday Thanksgiving and we have so much to be thankful for you know that was our literally the the pregame speech the night before, you know, Coach Chuck talk, talked about gratitude, you know, and you really sit back and think of what, what gratitude means, what it means to you, and, and where we're at, um, we're pretty dang lucky. And to play the game we love on Thanksgiving night uh, was, was great, and, and I felt like that was the perfect platform for me to, you know, pay my respect to the hero.